there have been 851 episodes of Doctor Who broadcast to date. Our mission? For every single one, say something nice. Hello dear viewers and welcome back to another episode of Say Something Nice. We're not in the Sylvester McCoy era today, but we're not far off. It's The Trial of a Time Lord, Part 13. Now for those of you who consider Trial of a Time Lord to be for stories, this is the first episode of the last story, The Ultimate Foe. This is where the story comes together. And the moment I'm choosing from this is the scene where, and of course, as always, spoiler alert, the Master reveals that the Prosecutor, the Valyard, is in fact the Doctor. But it's not exactly that moment I'm choosing, it's Anthony Ainley's whole performance. Anthony Ainley is someone who doesn't always convince me as the Master, and apparently he was often told to heighten his performance. He wanted to give a far subtler performance, but he was constantly told, no, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. At this point, however, as Anthony Ainley is sitting up on the screen, looking down on all the assembled Time Lords, he has a line where he says he's enjoying himself immensely, and he really is. He is reveling in the chaos that he is creating. For once, he is not a desperate scavenger. He hasn't shrunk himself down. He hasn't got stuck on prehistoric Earth. He's actually in control to a certain degree. And he really likes that. It comes across in the performance that this is how the Master should be for this version of the character. He should be gloating, but with a twinkle in his eye, he should be revealing shattering information that b could break the Doctor's confidence and even his sanity, and just revealing it totally off-handedly, like he's just asked for his morning paper. It's a really fine moment just for the atmosphere that Anthony Ainley conveys. This courtroom for the last 12 episodes has been this very serious location, and suddenly the Master comes in and smashes it up just with a few words. And if there's ever a description of something the Master should be, it's smashing everything up to put things together in a new order. And we discover later in these two episodes that that's what the Master intends to do. He intends to impose order, we find out in the next episode. But to do that, he's got to break stuff first. And the way he breaks stuff in this episode is just so charming. And it brings a smile to my face, even though it's this big revelation. And that's something really nice about The Trial of a Time Lord, episode 13. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. And it's part 13, not episode, and I usually get that right, but I'm gonna leave this in, because I was on a really good run there, and I like the energy, and I like the emotion, and thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>